and misconception is that people, they have Islam synonymous with terrorism. Right. How would you go ahead and explain this away? Well, you know, we have a joke about that. When we're in the street talking to people and they ask us, does Quran tell people to tell Muslims to kill other people? And we would always would tell them that, well, if that was the case, we wouldn't be talking right now, you know? <laughs> you know? So, uh, actually, there is, uh, you know, terrorism is not part of Islam. And there isn't a, a verse that commands terrorism or anything of that sort. But, you know, the history of all religions, not just Islam, is that there will always be people who will either use religion to support their cause or to support their, you know, their, their struggle, and uh, others who will say, you know, we're doing it because of this verse or that verse. But you have to consider the, you know, 1.3 or more billion Muslims on the planet. If all of them were, if part of their religion was to go out and terrorize and to kill people, then there would be a lot more havoc on earth. But then why is it that we find only a small handful of people who use the religion's name, you know, to commit terror or things of that sort? Because those are people who choose to, you know, interpret things in a certain way and go in that direction. But if it was the general mainstream, then everybody would have been doing it. So there is no scripture or part of scripture that says go and do that. So this is not, and has nothing to do with Islam. Like 9-11, this, even Muslims died in 9-11. Exactly. I, I mean, and, uh, and nobody, you know, uh, nobody wants to consider that. So Muslims died on, in these buildings as well. So, you know, how could that be? part of Islam to also, if, if you're claiming Islam says kill non-Muslims, then why did Muslims get killed in this incident as well? And many other things, like even, uh, like even in Saudi Arabia itself, they had a, a number of terror acts uh, where civilians and Muslims got killed. So that means then we're dealing with specific like rogue individuals who are extremists or who have made interpretations in such a way and they use certain uh, scripture to say this is how we justify these actions. So we've had also, I know I have it on the deanshow.com, I've had other scholars on the show that have condemned this, and even when it happened, is it true that many of the top scholars, they didn't get much media press, but they all condemned hijacking airplanes, killing innocent women and children, 9-11, 7-7, whatever, Times Square bomber, all these things are not according with the teachings of Islam? Right, uh, it's not according to Islam and uh, the majority of scholars, if not every living scholar, but still like you said, they don't get enough media attention and what you hear is uh, why don't the Muslim scholars come out and, 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 you know, and say this and that, and they do, but nobody listens to them. And at the same time also, it's very unfair where you know, a, a non-Muslim would do the exact same thing that a Muslim would do, but it's not referred to as terrorism. And I remember, because I live in the Washington DC area, or I used to live, and we had a couple of years ago what was known as the DC sniper. Yes. And this guy would go around and shoot people as they're coming from work and leaving the store and things like that. But it was fantastic, I was listening, and he was terrorizing everybody who was afraid to get gas during those days. But I remember clearly listening to the radio and they say, and the authorities have said that the sniper is not, repeat, not, a terrorist. What do you mean he's not a terrorist? He's terrorizing people. Yeah. But what it really meant was that, you know, this is not a Muslim. <laughs> but he was terrorizing people, so he yeah. should be a terrorist by definition. So there's also, a, a, you know, it's not very fair when it comes to the media. The other day there was a guy, this was many years ago, he, packed his tr uh, he parked his tractor, he had a tractor, and he's a farmer, and he said he had enough, the amount of explosives that brought down the Oklahoma building. And there was a two-day standoff with him, and the newspapers only said disgruntled farmer. This guy had bombs like the ones used in Oklahoma, and it only said disgruntled farmer. I would just love if that guy had a little bit of a beard, and he was, you know, Muslim. It would not say disgruntled uh, farmer or disgruntled. It would immediately be a terrorist. Yeah, but there, there, was, there was a man who actually, he flew a plane into the IRS building, and in Jacksonville, Florida, uh, they, uh, a man blew up, uh, or tried to blow up a mosque, and they didn't get much press, no. nor were they called terrorists. No, but if their name was Hassan or Ali, he'd be a terrorist. This is wrong, this is not hypocritical, fair. it's not fair. We're people of peace who call people to peace, to acquire peace by submitting to the owner of peace, the one creator. Okay.